Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Kenya. In the last episode, World War III got started between the United States and the Russian bloc. So that's interesting. We'll see how that goes. So far, there hasn't really been a ton of movement in the war in terms of who's capitulated. Uh, casualties are actually really not that high. In fact, the, uh, the Freedom League has been taking the most casualties, the United States in particular. So... We'll see how it goes. Let's see, who actually has all the manpower? It says almost 6 million fielded manpower, but I don't see it. Hmm. Well, that's the number of divisions. Okay, yeah, if they've got almost a thousand divisions, then yeah, they probably have tons of manpower out there. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. We are justifying our own war against the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, I checked, and that will finish on the 7th of June. So we're almost there. Still working on building up. We are missing... Well, actually, I don't know if we're actually missing equipment production. We apparently are missing equipment production for things we are going to need. We're starting to actually train some Marines in preparation for future naval invasion operations. So planning way ahead there. But, you know, you kind of have to. And it'll give us, you know, an army we can use in this war. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has capitulated. Okay, so yeah, they are actually making moves here in Korea and China, trying to push into Russian territory from there. Man, the U.S. ramped up their military in a, in a hurry. ATGMs. See, the thing is, what I might need to do is actually do that. Man, do I need better ATGMs. Man portable air defense system. I just finally realized what man pads means. And then we'll put the F-16s back in there. I mean, I can make F-35s, but I think being able to crank out more planes faster is probably more important. How goes our construction? We're going to be getting another military factory here shortly. 8th of August. Large strike packages. Okay, that is good. All weather attack procedures. Okay. And a bit of a, a rough rough voice today. 
Malawian election scandals Patrick Nam Namakwa suspends elections. Okay, Malawi. Uh, justification is complete. All right. So let's go ahead and declare the war. And let's get the party started. I should be able to gain air superiority pretty much immediately. You joined the Baltic Sea Union? Oh, really? Poland, Ukraine. Okay, well, um, hmm. I don't like that, and I don't like that. Join war's request from Switzerland. Could you even get troops to me? No. But you know what? Fine. You can you can join up if you want. Okay, yeah, that just suddenly uh, made things quite complicated. But well, we're gonna break through here, and we're gonna break through there. This, not so much. All right, yep, we've broken through. They just have to hold long enough. Have air superiority because Poland and Ukraine have sent in some planes. Well, that's no good. We have shot down nine enemy fighters. We have lost four of our own. Saudi troops deployed following coordinated attacks. <laughs> Countermeasures against armored units. All right. I mean, I guess it could have been worse. They could have joined the Freedom League. See, the thing is, I have no way of getting to them. Absolutely none. I have two Corvettes.
Um, we just had an agent killed. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, is there anything that you can actually do? No, we need two agents to be able to do anything. printers 3d wax printer yeah I'll take it Israel has declared war on Hamas okay So they're going to try and take the Gaza Strip. Alright. We'll see how that goes, if that doesn't spark something. How am I going to deal with this? Got another unit. Oh, Israel took uh, Hamas. Turkey has declared war on Greece. Okay. If we might be able to get Turkey into this faction, maybe. Syria has declared war on Lebanon. Can't even see what's going on there. So far, so good. We only had 10% towards capitulation, though. Let's see, we're almost done building that military factory. the uh, 1,000 casualties and we've inflicted 4,000 casualties. 4 to 1? Not bad. Ah, you're our first Marine Brigade. We'll need an army for that. Assign it to one of our army groups. And let's see. Jungle Rats. Commando. Yeah, we'll go with you. Let's assign you a front. Head up there. Lebanon has joined the Baltic Black Sea Union. Politically connected linguists. Kenyan nationality. 
Congolese. Um, we can recruit the Congolese guy. Send you over there. And what might I be able to do? Create fake intel units that can be used to deceive your enemies. Maybe we should try to capture a cipher. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Ukraine is called Lebanon as our enemy in the Kenyan-Ukrainian War. Ukraine has joined Lebanon as our enemy. Ukraine is called Lebanon as our enemy. What is going on? Oh, you joined them. The Jerusalem Defense Pact. Syria is in a faction with Israel. Did not see that one coming. And they would now be at war with the Baltic Black Sea Union. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. This is going to be a mess. Ukraine is called Moldova. Okay, well, whatever. Send in the Moldovans. Ukraine is called Latvia. Alright. Okay. They're just combining all the wars, I think. Turkish-Greek War. Okay. Syrian-Lebanese War has now merged. Okay. Well, this is starting to spiral out of control. Well, that's kind of what happens when you get to 100% world tension. Um, see, the thing is, I don't even think that they can do anything either. But at least... These guys are now our ally. I'm going to lose the SEO. These guys are now my ally. So we may be able to use them as a staging point for further operations. Israel wants to establish a military base. Okay. We're kind of bogging down here a little bit. We are starting to even out the air war. We are shooting down more of their planes. What are they using? Multi rolls and We got our F-15 Eagles, F-16s, some MiG-21 fish beds. Okay. I guess you take what you can get. We're going to crack 
through here. Non-aggression pact, we'll take it. Non-aggression pact, we'll take it. I could use some, like, military assistance if somebody wanted to, like, send me some stuff. That would be great. Because right now I don't have enough small arms to fill in our garrisons. So... That's no good. Twenty two percent resistance strength. Article fifty is triggered. Lithuania has triggered Article fifty and will leave the European Union. Okay, well, I guess Lithuanian did. things going here. They've got lemon on squeezed down pretty well. Alright, our investment in biofuels is done. That gives me a biofuel refinery, which is good because we we're losing a little bit. Military education reform. Um, we're going to go to resistance suppression for the time being. So they pushed a bunch more planes in. Israel wants to send me some Merkava 4s, Sandcat Mark 3s, MTAR 21s. Sure. I'll take all of those. It's small arms right now that I need. What I could do is buy a bunch. Or I can't. That's because I'm negative billions. Yeah, there you go. See, that's only going to be 240 units. Oh well, we'll buy some. incursion done, but we've kind of bogged down. Oh, 
Well, they're starting to get reinforcements from the from uh, Ukraine. So that's causing trouble. No intel there. Angela Merkel reelected. Okay. Uh, Israel is sending some troops. That's unexpected, but not unwelcome. I would have thought that you would have other larger issues to deal with. But, uh, I'll take some Israeli troops. Now, the thing is, what is this supply here? Uh, actually, supplies okay ish. As long as Israel doesn't throw too many troops into this fight. Panamanian Congolese War. Weird. All right, total casualties, 10,000. We've inflicted 46,000 losses on the enemy. How are the Americans doing? Uh, slow progress, it would seem. They have pushed all the way back to Havana. But there are a lot of troops in Havana. So... They may be hard-pressed to push through there. But it does look like the Israelis are giving us a much needed shot in the arm here. Field. We continue to work on those doctrines because those doctrines are very important. Soft attack plus two percent. Yeah, we'll take the soft attack. Most of our enemies are infantry. Saudi Arabia is still dealing with a Hezbollah attacks. All right, we're starting to break through. Something happening? No. All right, well, we've got lots and lots of these now. Um, what do I actually need more of? Small arms, main battle tanks, utility vehicles. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of those. And we're going to throw... Throw that in. We've got more factories. Coming up. Hamas starts new intifada. 
With support from Syria, Hamas has started a new infantile against Israel. How does that work? Dozens of Palestinian youngs, youngs, youth, I think is the proper word there, are demonstrating burning tires and pelting Israeli soldiers with rocks all over the country. Israel is your ally, Syria. That That's not how that works. Well, they got Beirut surrounded. Oh, and Beirut just fell. So, Lebanon's going to be out of the fight. Oop, there's a new frigates. Lebanon's capitulated. Very nice. I think going for destroyers might be a bit ambitious. We might need landing craft. 322, 332 days. Yikes. Okay. Well, um, hmm. It looks like they don't have the naval design mechanics in this mod. It is unfortunate. That's one of the things I really, really liked about Man the Guns. And it's a system that I think should have be expanded. Alright, looks like we uh, need to fix the front. Trying to push through there. Can you just like join that battle and see what happens? Looks like we have some uh, poles down here too. Okay, and some Ukrainians. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we got some new divisions flowing in. We got some more Israelis showing up. We're up to three Corvettes now. doing here we need 3200 small arms we're making 8.87 per day Yeah, we really need those factory output improvements. Let's see. Yep, they're starting to make some headway into Mongolia. We're pushing out there. But Nepal has made some headway into the Himalayas. Into uh, Tibet. Well, looks like they've been able to push out a lot of the enemy forces in Havana. I'm like, wait a minute, a battle cruiser? Oh, we lost a convoy. Factor access to Malawi has been achieved. Okay. I 
Oh yeah, we need to um, fire that off. Commence the operation. Alright, how are we going? That's wrong war. Congo is down to 16%. We've taken 16,000 casualties. We've inflicted 143,000. Well, actually, we've inflicted 14,000 casualties on Congo. Ourselves, we have law. We have taken 9,000 casualties. So, yeah, most of the casualties in this list come from the Ukraine. Actually, it's just Ukraine, not the Ukraine. And Lebanon. But a lot of these Ukrainians are probably dying in Congo. So, I guess that works. They are pouring troops into that area. You guys are trying to reorganize yourselves? I guess that's fine. Israel is sending some more... some more units our way. So that's good. Alright, but I think we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. And uh, we'll see how this craziness works out next episode. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to head to Syria after we knock out the Congo. And prepare to navally invade uh, Ukraine. That was something I wasn't expecting to have to do. So that ought to be interesting. And there's poor Switzerland. Just tied down. Can't go anywhere. Alright. Well, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.